What are concrete additives? Additives are added to cement during manufacture to improve its quality. Typically, the raw materials used in cement manufacture include alumina, lime, iron oxide, and silica. After mixing, the components are heated to roughly 1500 to allow the cement to attain its final chemical characteristics. Ancient civilizations like the Romans and Egyptians laid the groundwork for what would become the most extensively used building material in the world, concrete. Given that concrete outpaces all other building materials by a wide margin, the industry must place a premium on quality, performance, and sustainability. One of the most significant ingredients in high-performance, long-lasting, durable and beautiful concrete produced today are concreted mixtures. Concreted mixtures are synthetic or natural chemicals or additives added during concrete mixing to enhance specific attributes of the fresh or hardened concrete, such as workability, durability, or early and final strength. Types of Concrete Additives Many types of additives are used in concrete, although the majority are liquids that are added in minute quantities during the mixing process. They have a physical chemical action and are divided into so-called efficiency groups depending on their effect on freshly mixed or cured concrete. Effective Additive on Concrete Concrete Deflocculants These additives for concrete lower water pressure, enhancing workability while keeping the water-to-cement ratio within acceptable parameters. Plasticizing Admixtures These deflocculants for concrete are cutting-edge technology. They have a powerful deflocculant activity that makes it possible to efficiently install concrete with a consistency ranging from very soft to liquid. Transport concrete mixers are where plasticizing admixtures, also known as deflocculants, are often introduced. Because of their excellent consistency, construction sites no longer need to use polycarboxylate ether-based plasticizing admixtures. Air in training agents. Concrete with great resistance to thawing and frost must have a minimal quantity of micro air gaps, less than 0.3 mm, that can be created by mixing air in training agents. The volume of ice is greater than that of water. The concrete may crack if the frozen water's growth is stifled. The increased air gaps supply the necessary area for this extension. Inventions like air and training admixtures have had a major impact on the field of concrete engineering. Their principal use is to make concrete last longer in climates with frequent thawing and freezing. These admixtures enhance the characteristics of concrete by dispersing millions of non-merging air bubbles through the mix. Additionally, concrete with air entrainment has better workability, is less prone to bleeding and segregation, has a lower unit weight and modulus of elasticity, is more chemically resistant, and uses less cement, sand, water, etc. Among the most common admixtures used for air entrainment are Derex, Vinsol Resin, Chicol, Tepol, etc. Water-resisting admixtures. These help make the concrete more watertight. The purpose of water-resisting admixtures is to prevent water-harming chemicals from penetrating the structure. The purpose of water-reducing admixtures is to reduce the amount of water used to make a batch of concrete. While increasing the amount of water in concrete increases its workability, excessive water in concrete reduces its strength and durability. Increased workability is just one of the many benefits of increased strength, including a better link between steel and concrete and protection against segregation, cracking, bleeding, honeycombing, etc. Plasticizers, also known as water-reducing admixtures, are split into three categories, low-dash, medium-dash, and high-performance plasticizers. The water reduction achieved by using a standard plasticizer is around 10%, while the water reduction achieved by using a medium plasticizer is around 15%, and the water reduction achieved by using a super plasticizer is around 30%. Linsulfonates of calcium, sodium, and ammonium are frequently employed as plasticizers. Setting Retraders In some cases, such as when working with concrete in hot temperatures or with jointless components that have a significant mass, it is necessary to delay the setting time, e.g. strong base plates, bridge superstructures, concrete for curved stones. However, if you overmeter, the setting retarder can actually speed up the setting process. Retarding admixtures lengthen the time it takes for concrete to cure after it is first mixed by decreasing the pace at which cement hydrates. In some cases, the fast setting might cause structural discontinuities, inadequate bonding between surfaces, superfluous cavities in concrete, etc. Retarders are helpful in preventing these sorts of issues. 
Calcium sulfate, sometimes known as gypsum, is a popular retarding additive. Setting accelerators. Chemically, they speed up the setting time of substances like sealing mortar or shotcrete from minutes to seconds after applying or laying. Physically active microsilica dust is another option, with none of the drawbacks such as diminished 28-day and final strength. Accelerating admixtures are used to reduce the initial setting time of concrete. They expedite the process of the initial phase of hardening of concrete consequently they are also referred as accelerators. These accelerators also advance the strength of concrete in at early phase by boosting the rate of hydration. Earlier hardening of concrete is advantageous in numerous situations such as early removal of formwork, reduced duration of curing, emergency repair works, for structures in low temperature zones etc. Some of the speed-up admixtures are calcium formate, triethanolamine, silica fume, calcium chloride, finely divided silica gel etc. Calcium chloride is a cheap and often used accelerating additive. Please feel free to like, comment and share.